So just some quick uh, reactions. You know, the uh, Marvel gave us a new series this week over on the Disney Plus. Moon Knight, starring Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke, made its world premiere. And uh, we've both watched the first episode. So yes. uh, let, let me kind of just let me let, let, I'm going to actually start this time because, uh, well, I went into this totally cold. I know dick about Moon Knight. OK, I, I, I've seen pictures of him. I've heard people gush about how cool he is. I've heard people say, oh, he's like Marvel's Batman. But I'm like, but he has it looks like he's got some supernatural stuff going on. And Batman is just a dude in a suit. So I don't get that. But, um, you know, I really like he's just someone I've had like a, a passing glancing connection to. Same. Here, so same I here. went into this. Yeah, I went into this totally cold, not knowing what a Moon Knight story should even be like or what his origin is or what like the staples or the, the main things I should be looking for. I just went into this completely cold. Just let's see what the hell a Moon Knight is. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I got to tell you. If I if we weren't covering this stuff, I probably wouldn't continue. Uh, I thought, listen, I like Oscar Isaac. I'll watch him in anything. I like, I love Ethan Hawke. I'll watch him in anything. But something about that pilot and like what the what they did show, I don't know, man. The tone to me was all over the place. There was a lot of stuff that was very kind of goofy, cringy, Marvel type lighthearted stuff but then you're dealing with some of this like epic classic mythological stuff and there's all these unanswered questions and i i know like they're trying to get me to want to find the answers but instead i was just kind of like i just had a hard time locking in and giving a damn so yeah honestly through through the first episode of moon Knight, i'm not terribly impressed I'm happy to see Oscar Isaac getting work and Ethan Hawke getting that nice Disney check I'm sure he's getting now. But there's nothing about the show that has me dying for episode two. Uh, but how about you, Brett? Yeah, so for, for me, like I said, uh, same here. I have very passive knowledge of Moon Knight. I have like kind of just like the basic idea. Um, I, I Oscar Isaac is the big draw for me. I love Oscar Isaac. I, yeah. Like just like that, I'll watch. I'll watch him stare at a wall. Um, he's a great <laughs> actor, and I find him charming. So uh, that was the big draw for me. This episode, like for me, I'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten. So okay. I think probably a higher review than maybe you would give it, but I'm not yeah. gonna give it like this glowing review. So a um, couple of cool things. I did like. Um, I, I, for one, am intrigued to see it keep going. So I, yeah. I, I, I do want to keep watching. I like that the way the show even starts out, um, it's not quite – I guess you could call it an origin story, but it's very clear that uh, some crazy crap's already been going on yeah. right from the from the onset, which it I like. They to a, just, yeah, a pole. yeah, they kind of <laughs> just put it right into it. And yeah. um, so that was intriguing. I was like, why is he chained himself? Why does he tape his door? Why does he have sand around his bed? So yeah. that was, that was kind of interesting. Um, some of the, some of the, the stuff got a little maybe hokey with the voice. I, I, I think there's something not clicking with me. Like they got a great actor. They got F Murray Abraham uh, to be, um, I think the Love voice of uh, the God that is like possessing yeah. um, Steven slash Mark. Um, but it, there's something wasn't clicking with me about it. Like, I don't know if it was just his voice yeah. with the tone of it, that that was kind of a little off, but I was like, okay, I'm with it. And then, you know, finally by the end, we get to see Oscar Isaac, you know, basically playing opposite himself as Mark. And he just seems more like angry Oscar Isaac. And uh, that's great. I like without Oscar the Isaac, accent, so, yeah. without yeah. the accent, which I've also, the accents weird and kooky, but um, supposedly he has said that there is a reason that the accent sounds kind of shoddy. So oh, it's not really? because he's it's not because he's not good at doing a British accent, unless that's just an excuse. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. supposedly combat, there's yeah. something behind that. Okay, um, I mean, honestly, I think he sounds good. I think he sounds like he belong he belongs in Ted Lasso. You know, to yeah. me, uh, yeah, like to me, he sounded like he could be on the coaching staff with Ted it's Lasso. A little, a little cartoony, almost though it sounds. But uh, I'm hoping, yeah, like you I mean, said, there is something that goes uh, that explains yeah. why that voice is, but. Um, you know, they had some cool action sequences. Um, I, I like kind of, uh, how they're depicting like, 
basically we're, we're kind of just seeing the aftermath of everything. Like he's having these yeah. blackouts. I thought that was actually a cool element. I really like that. We did finally get to see him in the suit at the end. Very, very briefly. Very I briefly. wish there was a little more of him in the suit in the first episode. But I guess but, that's the point, right? Yeah, it, 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 it got me enough. But yeah, it was it was a 7 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt because it was the pilot. Um, you know, just a shout out to like a friend of the show and, and someone that uh, I've uh, met on Twitter and, and played Smash Brothers with 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 uh, our boy Isaac, uh, Michael Thomas, uh, at Novice Cinephile. He actually uh, did get to see the first four episodes and has a nice little uh, preview up on YouTube. So check him out uh, at Novice Cinephile. And I think it's Novice Cinephile on YouTube as well. But he, uh, I watched his little like preview of uh, the first four episodes and he got me hyped for this. Um, so <laughs> I- I'm really hoping that uh, he is correct and uh, the next, you know, few episodes are really going to turn it around for me it is only i think a six part mini series i think only okay. six episodes so it shouldn't overstay its welcome so i'm hoping it really hits the ground running um and like i said i, I appreciated that they kind of really like started off like at a pretty quick pace and and i think they'll just kind of catch us up as we go along and yeah. they didn't have to spend too much time uh rooting around in yeah. like, like origin uh, so well, there's gonna be flashback stuff i'm sure for sure yeah, for me, so for me, if I had to rate it, it's like a 5 out of 10. It stated its case. I'll give it that much credit, but I wasn't really buying what it was selling. I will check out the upcoming episodes just to see how things unvel- develop, and hopefully uh, Michael uh, is right about that. And honestly, we're going to need something to watch because the <laughs> next show we're about to talk about is going on another freaking break until april 26th so we're gonna have a few weeks with no superman and lois so bring on the moon night and hopefully it's ever elevating levels of quality 